I thought it'd be nice to talk about what else I do out here besides just homesteading projects. As some of you may be able to guess, I am an artist and I do have a picture framing business called Frame of Mind. So what I'm going to do is look at a um, piece of artwork that I've made and I'll probably break it into a few episodes. Uh, I'll probably go in later and uh, show how I frame a piece and what I do with it. This particular one is uh, earmarked to go to an art auction. I'll talk about the artwork itself probably later in one of the uh, following uh, episodes. Uh, this first part is going to be mostly a conversation I had with Ben of Zen Twig. He has a digital printing business and is one of my best uh, framing customers as well. I love the colors. Great job as usual, Ben. And you're happy with the print? I'm happy with the print, yes. All right. Yeah, All right. absolutely. All right, so we're here with uh, Ben. He has a business called Zen Twig. Mm -hmm. Zen Twig Photography or? Zen Twig Photographic Services. I actually call it Zen Twig Fine Art and Photographic. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He does all my printing and he's one of my best uh, framing customers. We've had a long standing uh, relationship with uh, um, printing uh, artwork on canvas mm -hmm. and then I'll build the stretcher bars to stretch it for, for your customers. Yes. All right. Mostly I wanted to give Ben a chance to talk about what he does uh, for the fine arts and uh, other professionals in, that he serves. Um, well, first off, uh, going back in our history together, um, we started um, and I started at a uh, local fine art uh, reproduction house in Portland called DigiCraft. Um, I worked there for nine years. Um, and um, in that time there, I did a lot of work with artists, um, high-end photographic and um, analog artists, um, uh, reproducing their work on um, light jet media as well as ink jet media. Mm -hmm. um, so our history goes back to uh, DigiCraft and um, after DigiCraft closed down, I decided that I wanted to work with the owner to uh, purchase some of that art uh, uh, reproduction stuff um, and then uh, go off on my own, start my own business and uh, begin printing here. Yeah. Um, I have a, a large format inkjet printer um, that is uh, 64 inches wide. Um, and I can print that wide. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, Epson printer head um, is a high-end printer head that um, uh, resolves images at a very high resolution. Um, and then I print on uh, uh, cheaper media as well as um, high-end fine art media for um, art clients. Mm -hmm. um, and so, for example, the print that I made for you uh, is on a material called Photo Silk Burrito, uh, which um, reproduces the look and feel of uh, a fiber-based matte print. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a gorgeous material and a gorgeous printer. Yeah. 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 So, um, for reproducing artists' work, is that mostly like taking a photo of like a painting that somebody's done, or is it an actual like flatbed kind of scanner mm -hmm. uh, technology that people are probably familiar with? Mm -hmm. How how does that uh, how do you really get a good accuracy as far as uh, reproducing artwork? So I have two scanning methods. Uh, one is your traditional flatbed printer um, or flatbed scanner, um, and uh, it's a large. 17 inch flatbed scanner for um, scanning um, drawings and illustrations and such. Um, but as we know, flatbed shoots a light up into the media, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, and then scans across the media. That uh, light uh, shooting up 
can often bounce off of um, uh, artwork that has paint on it, yeah, um, texture, texture uh, and then it will resolve that light. Um, and though it is a very sharp method of scanning, um, it is inaccurate, um, particularly with textural artwork. Um, so the other method I have for scanning is for large format um, pieces. Uh, it is the scanner um, right behind me. Um, and it is called a scanner, um, even though it is a 4x5 camera, um, and it is technically a camera, the back behind the camera is a digital scanning bag. Um, and so it takes uh, a CCD, red, green, and blue CCD, and swipes across the image over a period of time. Um, like a scanner. Like a scanner. Um, so it is technically a scanner. Um, but yes, it is a large format scanner, uh, and uh, it uh, is color calibrated, and it is also very high resolution. And because it's behind a 4x5 camera, it is also extremely sharp. Well, Ben, like me, is a home-based business. Um, I've been doing the picture framing business out of my house for, oh my gosh, over 20 years. I can't, I'm not sure how long it's been now, but um, I highly recommend, if anybody has the opportunity to work with people who work from home, to do that. Because you're working with an expert, somebody who really knows what they're doing. You're not uh, just, you know, dealing with somebody who is in high school working behind the counter right. kind of deal. Um, so, uh, plus it's, it's good to be uh, contributing to the local economy. It's, you know, I think it's a, a, good, a good way to spread the wealth around, keep it in your community. Absolutely, and uh, what I enjoy about this work, as opposed to working at a print house, is that I'm, I'm working one-on-one -on -one with my clientele. Um, and so I know what their needs are, they're expressing them to me, and I'm then fulfilling those needs with the products and services that I offer. Um, if I was working at a print house, there's less client interaction. Um, a client comes in, they're going to meet uh, with a front house, um, that person is going to then relay the messages back to the printing uh, part. And so there's less direct communication with artists. Um, here I have uh, all control over that communication um, and uh, in, by doing that I'm able to uh, provide clients with what they need um, faster um, with lower prices and with higher quality, and I'm very happy with that. For me, uh, it's important to do something in life that's meaningful, and uh, with picture framing, I'm helping people present their uh, things that are important to them, that are meaningful to them, and it's just a wonderful uh, interaction, plus you get to see a lot of really beautiful artwork, so it's a uh, you know, it's a, it's a good business to be in for me. I really, yeah. really enjoy it. How about you? What's your favorite part of the work that you do? Um, I don't get this opportunity all that often, but when it does come along, it's amazing. And that is being involved with artists when they have a show coming up. Um, I'm involved in the creative process and the massaging of that creative process as their eyes are sparked by the, the openness of a gallery and how they're going to present their work. Um, oftentimes artists, uh, for example, like Corey Arnold, um, know what they're doing um, and they know exactly what they're printing and how they want to print it, but I'm still involved in uh, their analysis of those images. Is it too light? Is it too blue? Is it too green? Um, how do the colors reproduce? Am I able to communicate what I want to with this image, or is, or is there a distraction involved? Um, and so being a part of artist's creative process is definitely the most rewarding aspect. Mm -hmm. um, and then beyond that, it's really just seeing all of this amazing artwork that comes through this house, and uh, I feel blessed to uh, have 
that world involved here, that creative world here. Because I don't always get out and see artwork, and so having it come into the house is an easy way for it to, to leach into my, my body and my mind. Yeah, that is nice. That's mm -hmm. great. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome.